Hey there, Max here. In today's video, we are going to have a look at a very cool website, which is called Photofiller. On photofiller.com, you can put your photos online and you can have other people vote on your photos so that you get a good idea of what photos of yours are actually attractive. I find this very useful because, well, the goal is to get the highest possible attractive score. And when you get a very, very high attractive score, you can see you are in the top 5%, the top 1%, and that's the end goal. That's where you're going to have a ton of matches on dating apps. And that's very achievable by literally anyone. I'm trying to find one before I started taking photos when I really had no idea what I was doing. Let's take this one, just me playing uh, badminton with a friend in a park. I have no idea what I'm doing and this photo is not that great. I get a 6.5 in terms of attractiveness. And the thing is that most guys, they don't really know either how to take a nice photo for online dating apps. So what we're going to do in this video is that we're going to have a look at what other photos other men have and we're going to rate them. Hopefully you're going to see the mistakes that other guys do and you're going to see how to avoid making those mistakes. So you have three ways to rate people. You have smart, you have trustworthy and you have attractive. To be honest, on dating apps, you want to be attractive first and foremost. You really want to get an attractiveness score that's above nine. But being smart and being trustworthy plays a role as well. For example, if you want to meet very smart and educated business women, if your smart score is very low, they won't be too interested in you. So it's important as well. The same for being trustworthy. If you want them to go out with you, you'd better make sure your trustworthiness score is higher. I don't really feel like it's particularly particularly smart, I don't feel like he's particularly trustworthy, although he's smiling a little bit, so in my opinion he's gonna get a 1 out of 3, somewhat trustworthy, and he's not particularly attractive either, there is nothing that stands out, it's just a guy taking a selfie, and really we want to avoid doing that, if you take selfies, it basically communicates that you don't have friends, and that's not the best. Okay, for this photo I will put, I'm hesitating, let's say 2 in smart because he's wearing glasses and he's wearing a suit and a tie he looks quite smart in that regard trustworthy i will put nine because he's having this weird facial expression somehow and i don't really understand why this is quite unrelatable and if it's unrelatable to the viewer you're gonna come off as not trustworthy that could be a nice photo although the background is a little bit boring and the facial expression is not that great in this photo the background is not really interesting and I don't know why he will turn his face that way because by that point I really can't see his face. I just can't see one side and that's not enough. That's making him look a bit dumb in a sense because it shows that he doesn't really understand what makes a good photo or at the very least it shows that he doesn't understand what women want to see in a photo. So one in uh, smart, one in trustworthy and one in attractive because either way I can't see him very well. This one is a good example of something that you really don't want to do. It's a car selfie with a weird facial expression so it's gonna get a zero everywhere you don't want to do that you have to pay attention to the background you have to relax your face and make sure you don't do any kind of weird facial expression that will be totally unrelatable to the woman who's going to watch your photo taking a selfie again communicates that you don't really understand how to make a good photo so it's a hard no okay here is a guy who goes to the gym and that's interesting because he has a good physique so immediately i'm going to give him a yes in attractiveness sure he is attractive but then he's taking a male selfie so smart not that smart because it shows he doesn't really get how to take a nice photo not that trustworthy because he's trying hard to fake looking nice for a photo and this really destroys any kind of trustworthiness you want to focus on candid shots this will generate trust because it's an honest signal that you're actually doing something for real. Here, he's not doing it for real. That's exactly the opposite that he's doing. He's faking it for the sake of the photo. And when you fake things, you don't come off as trustworthy. Probably you can tell what's wrong with this photo. Let's start by telling him avoid bedroom selfies. He could be attractive, so somewhat attractive. Why not? But the problem is that the photo doesn't really show it because it's a bedroom selfie. He is not really trustworthy because there is nothing that shows that he can be trusted and he's not really smart. Okay, he has glasses, so probably it's a smart guy. We don't really know much about it and that's especially due to the context of the photo. It's just a dude taking a selfie in his bathroom. I wish I could see a good photo to show you guys what it's like 
when someone has a very very good photo a photo that's not mine let's talk about this guy for instance the background is nice the face is relaxed and he is somewhat attractive in my opinion now he could be more attractive for example his fashion style is not the best his hairstyle is not the best his posture his body language is not the most confident he's leaning inward a bit and it communicates that he's kind of shy or at least uncomfortable in front of the camera why not he seems trustworthy there is nothing in this picture that indicates that i can't trust him so i will give him the benefit of the doubt he might be trustworthy until proven otherwise same with smart at least the photo is clean so it shows he's smart enough to understand what makes a photo nice to look at. He understands that distracting elements in the background or in the forefront are a little bit annoying and take away from the intensity or importance of the subject. That's quite a smart guy in my book, but could be better. Let's get a little bit technical with this one. I give one in a smart because he went to a nice place. He put at least a little bit of thought into it, which is pretty nice. Is it the best high value location you can take a photo in? Most likely not. I don't think a lot of women will be thrilled by watching a guy posing in a coliseum. Also, the fact that he's posing, you know it by now, but not very trustworthy. In terms of attractiveness, he's very skinny, he's very thin. And okay, you don't need to be super muscular to get with women, but you have to look like at least you go to the gym sometimes. He doesn't look like he goes to the gym sometimes, so it's hard to give him a good score. But props to him though, because compared to a few photos before, at least on this photo, I can see what his body shape looks like. He could also get a better score in attractiveness if he had the better fashion style. There with the sunglasses and the cap turned around and just a regular t-shirt, it's difficult to give him a better score, especially with the pose that he's rocking, which is not playing to his advantage in my opinion. So, sir, you are somewhat attractive. Also very important, the lighting is a little bit awkward on this photo and yes, it's a detail, but it can make a good photo into a great photo if you pay attention to the lighting. Here, the light is everywhere but on him. He's in the shade. By definition, it makes him a little bit shady and it's subtle, it's a psychological concept, okay, but women pay attention to it. When women are going to watch this photo, they are going to feel it's a little bit off, it's a little bit awkward, it's a little bit shady. So pay attention to the lighting, try to be in the light. Try to have the light come from in front of you like I'm doing right now with my camera and a light on top of my camera so it looks a little bit better there is the light coming towards my face. When you take a photo you want to do the same. What do I feel about this one? Well he doesn't look very smart because he's just sitting in his room posing for the camera. He doesn't look very trustworthy because he's posing as well. Okay he plays guitar so he's a little bit smart let's give him that and is he very attractive well not that much either i give him the benefit of the doubt but there is not much interesting or attractive in a guy sitting in his bedroom with his guitar on his knees making a weird or awkward face we don't really want to do that. Another one with an interesting facial expression, and I'm kidding a little bit, but you really want to avoid facial expressions like that. You want to try to avoid bringing attention to you because of your facial expression, because it communicates a lack of confidence and it communicates that you're very uncomfortable taking photos. You don't want to do that. That's not very trustworthy. That doesn't make him look very smart. On top of that, the background is very random. It's not really high value. Anyone can take a walk in the forest and take a selfie there. It doesn't really make him stand out. His hairstyle is nothing crazy. His t-shirt is nothing crazy as well. And I can't even see him very well. I can't even tell if he's muscly, if he's fat, if he's skinny. Benefit of the doubt, sure, but he's somewhat attractive to me. Let's finish with this guy. So I find the angle a little bit strange. So I'm going to start by telling him this. And also his facial expression is very tense. You can see the smirk that's not natural you can see he's forcing it and if he's forcing it and it's not natural he's not gonna be trustworthy and he's not gonna be very smart also if he wanted to look smarter he would pay more attention to the background here the background is a pink umbrella it's very difficult to be engaged by this it's very difficult to feel 
curious. He could very easily take the same kind of photo with a different angle to get a better score. But it's details like that that matter. In terms of attractiveness, okay, he doesn't seem very bad, but I can't see enough to give him more. I think this yes is a very nice already. I wish I could give a better score, but you don't see enough on the photo. Okay, that's it for this little discovery of what you can find on Photofiller. In my opinion, it's a very, very useful website to get your photo rated and even if it's not the end all be all of online dating advice it gives you a good idea for example i have this photo which i thought was amazing at the time i took it and it turns out i'm actually below average on every front and it's not that great and then i have this photo which i think is barely okay and it's the best photo i ever took of myself so sometimes we're not the best judges of ourselves and we're not the best judges of our photos and even our close friends are not the best judges of our photos what i recommend is that you use this website you put your photos on there and you get a few votes maybe 10 votes is not enough but if you get 50 votes on a photo you will know how good your photo actually is and that's pretty much it for today. If you're interested in getting better results on dating apps, check out my free training on my website. I will put a link right below this video and I will see you guys there. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, leave a comment to tell me what you thought of it and I will see you guys next time.